The market has been attempting to start selling the U.S. dollar again after the buck had enjoyed a healthy multi-session rally, though at this point, the dollar continues to hold up well. Using short-term resistance levels as reference points, the euro has been unable to get back above 120, while the pound has stalled out above 136 and ahead of last week's high. Until those levels are clear, the dollar could still look to extend its run. We had talked about a possible euro downside extension into the 117s without it compromising the medium-term euro uptrend. And we also talked about scope for cable to extend its decline a little lower as well without undermining the recovery over the past several months. And so as we head into a stacked calendar day, the outlook remains the same. Currencies should start to look for bottoms against the buck, but the dollar could still still run a little bit more before that happens. Looking at the day's events, key standouts come in the form of UK employment data and US retail sales. But other releases should not be overlooked, and those include German and Eurozone ZEW prints, Eurozone industrial production and GDP, US Empire State Manufacturing, and the New Zealand GDT auction. Earlier today, a softer batch of China data opened some downside pressure on the correlated Australian dollar. Away from FX, stocks have come back under pressure following a healthy rally of their own in recent days, though we continue to see rallies being well capped in 2018 for deeper setbacks as monetary policy normalizations ramp up and inflation starts to work its way back into the global economy. That's all for now.